Methodist Healthcare Sickle Cell Center is home away from home. The staff here is lovey, just lovey-dovey, sappy. Just, I just want to hold them and take them home with me. The cool kids choose Methodist, remember that guys. If you want to be cool, you come here. All right. Hi, I'm Justin and I chose the Methodist Sickle Cell Center. I was nervous. <laughs> I, didn't, I really didn't want to transition to adult care, but you know, St. Jude's fun and everything, so it was just nerve-wracking to come into adult care. Transitioning here made it all easier because all they ever asked me was how bad is the pain or where it hurts, and after that, there's nothing else. Like, they already know what allergies, they already know what milligrams work, they already know what I take on a daily basis. They keep up with all that, and they refer to it instead of just asking me. So it's, um, it's pretty, so that settled all those nerves. <laughs> me being so attached to St. Jude and St. Jude being attached to this sickle cell center, I was just like, I get to stay in the loop. So I didn't really want to leave St. Jude, so this was my way of like slick staying with St. Jude without being at St. Jude. And I thought it would just be easier, period, because my doctor from St. Jude comes here, uh, my nurse from St. Jude comes here on some days, so I just thought it would be easier in the end. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Tony. I chose the Methodist Sickle Soul Center because it's awesome. And if you don't think it's awesome, I'll be here. So you should come hang out with me and we can have fun together. When I graduated from pediatric care from St. Jude, I figured, well, you know, since I'm not getting that sick, I can just keep on, you know, just keep on trucking. That was a mistake. I should have kept going to the doctor because a lot of things, bad things happened to me all at once. I was in the hospital for about a month and a half. And when I got out, I ended up hearing about the Sickle Soul Center at Methodist because my mom works here. And it just stuck because everyone here is so lovely and nice. <laughs> and I love my personality. It just works perfectly. <laughs> I have fun here, honestly. I'm never nervous. I'm free to open up. Um, it's just welcoming to me. I feel like being here is an extended family. My first impression of the Sickle Soul Center was that everybody was friendly, very, very nice. Everyone was opening, just welcome arms. We're, you're a part of our family here. It wasn't like previous doctors. It's just like, oh, were you just a patient? You're just a number, you just keep going, it's whatever. They actually wanted to know, oh, how's your day? How is school? What do you want to do in life? So everyone is very welcoming. I feel like they're little angels from heaven sent here to be with me. It's <laughs> been pretty easy. It's been a smooth ride. I haven't had no problems, no complaints at all. So and that wasn't expected of me of all people. I was like really particular. So I was quite impressed since I transitioned here. <laughs> This center does have great support. Mike Conley, he's a very supportive person when it comes to this center. He, I, um, twice I've been to his annual bowling bash and I met him, talked with him, and we took pictures and different things like that. So it's pretty, this center is really supported by the Grizzlies, which is like Memphis home team. So, you know, if they're behind it, you know, this must be a good place. <laughs> For other teams that's considering a Methodist Sickle Cell Center, I would just tell them to come on. Personally, because it's like it's like I said, they will develop relationships with the nurse, social worker, doctor, anybody who else they need. Um, it would be provided for them here. And then it's like home away from home because it's tied in with St. Jude. So you will see the caseworker from St. Jude and some doctors from St. Jude. So you, it wouldn't be that many things to worry about because if they don't already know what what you need, what works for you, and different things like that. Once you tell them on your first visit, maybe the second, they will remember. So, I mean, you wouldn't really have it that much to worry about if you just go ahead and come here. You should come to the Methodist Sickle Cell Center because it's very welcoming. Off the bat, you will not feel out of place. You're not going to feel like you don't belong. You're not going to feel like you're just a patient. You're just a number. Just doing this because I have to do it now. These people actually care about you, so. It's, it's once you get in here, you should just give it a try. Even if you don't choose it, you should just give it, put a foot in. If you don't like it, then you can leave, but I'm guaranteed that you'll like it, so. <laughs>